this up a little bit. What you think, man? Oh, wow. This song actually helps it. It's got that low end. It does. The other song you didn't hear the low end. This one you really hear. I can't understand a word you're saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is loud. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of loud. Wow. Was that even up all the way? Let me see. Is that about where I was? I think so. It goes, it can go higher. Oh. That's, that's full. That's 100%. Wow. Dude. Look. Hey, guys. Welcome back to New Stuff TV. The Untechnical Tech Channel. Man, I'm your host, Antoine. 360 ways to shake your booty. Richardson, because today we're checking out this LG X-Boom 360 Bluetooth speaker, man. I'll tell you what, first things first, don't be listening to this thing at 100% volume a foot away from it. Like, you will seriously damage your hearing. It actually has some pretty good high volume uh, responses. I mean, the bass kind of stuck around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this song is like yeah, we tried with some other songs and, you know, like typical speakers, you know, the bass subsides a little bit, but this song right here kind of just thumps. This is just a chill ass song, man. Hey, you know what? Let's quit jacking around, man. Let's get into this. Let's take it to the lab here. All right, we got some ambient lighting. That is actually the star of the show because it just brings home this wonderful aesthetic that LG added to it. Speaking of adding things, let me just go over some specky things real quick. Y'all know I'm not a technical guy, but I do have to tell you that it is IP55 rated which you, and you get up to 15 hours worth of battery life. As far as specs, that's all you're getting out of me, bro. Now let's get back to the other stuff. All right, so we got these aesthetics right here, man. This, I'm telling you, it is the absolute star of the show. This thing is just gorgeous. This is the backside of it. And since we're on the backside, come on down here, man. Let's get into this speaker booty. Let me just open this thing up, show you what's in here. All right, so we got that. That is just, literally just one thing, and that is your, your uh, USB-C charging port right there. So you can get that 15 hours of battery life. Then right next door to it, once you close that up, you maintain that IP55 rating, but right next to it is your power button. All you got to do is a single tap on that bad boy to turn it on or off. But then the rest of the back and the whole bottom side of it is this nice fabric, man. It's just got this nice woven fabric on it. And it's just a really nice, soft, subtle, deep gray, man. This is different than like, you know, some of our other products like the JBL and the uh, Sony. It feels like a different material, but it's just, it's soft. <laughs> it's soothing, man. Let me just, can I spend some time with my speaker here? Hold on, man, let me show you real quick. You tap this and you get your controls on the top. You just tap your capacitive controls, okay? And then you can just set it here. You, know, you can just set it there and just chill. You know what I like about this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into some other stuff. Let me pause this real quick. What I like about this speaker is a lot of companies have a hard time delivering, let's just say, quote unquote, everything. And that being good sound quality. And when I say sound quality, I'm talking about balanced mids and highs. And then you have the trouble of like connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity without any dropouts and stuff like that. And then you have a decent battery life. And then you have the design an aesthetic that is that just works. Now, some speakers, you'll find that most speakers are made for like outdoorsy kind of things where you can just grab it and go. And they look outdoorsy. They have a rugged build and they're a little bit extreme looking and you know, they just look like they belong outdoors, right? But then there's some speakers that look like they literally only belong in the house. And you know, you, it's, it's hard to do both at the same time with one speaker. Now, I'm not saying this LG 360 uh, will, looks like it can do both because it's really not designed for both. I'm more of a guy who likes a speaker designed for the home because I have a home and I like speakers. So I might as well just play my speakers in my home. And this looks good everywhere in it, on a bookshelf, on a coffee table, on an end table, um, your bed, your nightstand on your, like on your bedside or something like that in your kitchen, on your countertop, the speaker, look at it. Look at that light is just seriously the star of the show. 
and it just has this ambiance to it. I like mine on amber. I'm gonna show you all the different lighting uh, sets that you get, but uh, I just wanted to just drive that point home. A lot of speaker companies have a hard time getting all this right at the same time where they're delivering you good sound and beautiful aesthetics. LG hit the head on the nail. Is it head on the nail? Is, is that <laughs> nail on the head? That's what, nail on the head. LG, you hit the nail on the head when it came to bringing it all together in one beautiful package. Now, let's get into some stuff, man. I did show you on the top here where you got these capacitive buttons, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little sticker off because this is my speaker. And, oh man, we got a little residue right there. Let me get that off. I don't wanna mess up my video. Dude, can you pause this real quick? Okay, 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 now we're ready. Okay, back. <laughs> you got your Bluetooth button right there. You got your plus and minus. You got your play button. And then you have your lighting effect button. Now, this will cycle through some presets, but you can actually do more inside of the app, which we'll get to, but I'll just tap it a few times so you can see. Got like a more of a daytime light here, like white, white. And then we have like a colorful selection. And let's see what else we got. We got off, uh, then we're back to amber. And we'll get to the, to the other light effects once we get into the app. Once I take that second sticker off, if you can actually see in here, let me turn this light off so it doesn't distract you. Let me hit that a couple times and it's off. So if you look in there, that is a driver grill, okay? So that's where some sound comes out. That's where most of your treble and mid-tones come out, right there at the top where that little uh, point meets where the light is. And then down here somewhere, I'm assuming, I haven't really delved into the, uh, to the guts of this thing, but I'm assuming there's another driver in there or at least a bass radiator that is gonna kick out that bass for you because this thing actually does pack quite a bit of thump on a lot of different songs. Like it's not gonna be every song where it's just booming, but you will get a nice, like a nice hum out of this thing and a, and a thump when you need it. And just to cover all the bases, let's go around to the bottom. You get four little rubber feet here to keep this thing in place. Now I will tell you, once you start turning it up, uh, it does have enough bass to rattle the things around it. Cause at first I thought I was getting distortion. It was not distortion. It was the remote control on the coffee table that was rattling. So uh, even though it does have these rubber feet, it's not gonna move around the table, but it will shake the things around because it's got the base. All right, since we're taking this little field trip, let's take a deep dive inside of the app so you can see what's going on in here on my LG XO2 version of this speaker. There are two of them, so you need to check, double check that on the website once you go look at it. All right, so on the front page here, you can see I got 45% battery life. I got volume controls here, but if you scroll down a little bit, because this is a long page, it's just got tabs, I got an equalizer tab. Let me go into that because I need to show you it's got two presets. One is gonna be standard, which it comes out of the box, the other one, which is my favorite, is Sound Boost. I just like that setting right there for just a quick, easy way to listen to your music. But if you are a tinkerer, you could tinker around with these six bands of EQ right here. I don't like messing around with that, so I'm getting out of there, going back to Sound Boost, so I can show you the rest of the app. Here's the start of the show, the mood lighting. Dude, check this out. All right, so right now we're in warm afternoon sunlight. We can get refreshing morning, got that coolness going, and we got comfort of a cozy night. This is actually my favorite. You got some effects here. You can have a candle effect, so it flickers a little bit. Can you see it flickering? But once you turn that candle effect off, you see down here you've got brightness control. So I can uh, toggle down that brightness a little bit or bring it all the way up. This is a super cool effect because if you have this on your bedside table at night, you can actually have a night light going if you want and it doesn't, you know, it's just not too bright for you. You can actually control that brightness. And then if you scroll over here, you got different tabs, man. You got nature, then you got three presets, right? And then you got the party. And then you got three presets for that. And then you go back to ambient. But this is the cool part. On all three of those, you can go into my pick and you can go in here and customize the hue or even the saturation of whatever lighting effects you want. This is full blown customization. I'm talking probably thousands upon billions of colors and combinations. This is sick. I told you it was a start of the show. You didn't believe me if I had to show you. I know how you guys are. But let's keep going down, man, because we got the one touch mode where you can actually program your playlist so you can just touch the little light bulb on the top and you can get your play or your playlist going with the correct ambient lighting for that playlist. Super cool effect uh, thrown in there by LG. You got a music player built in. This is actually cool. I, to I talked about bedside table earlier. They got the sleep timer on here, man. So you got this sleep timer, you got presets 30, uh, 10, 30 and 60 minutes. And you got a whole bunch of features for that. Uh, if you wanna have it going on in your bedroom, 
Oh, man. So they really did load up this app for you. What do you think about all this, Wilson? It's a lot. Yeah, so it's this. a lot packed into here, man. Uh, you know what? Let me see if there's anything else on the app I want to cover. Oh, wireless party link. So if you got a bunch of these, I don't know how much is a bunch. How much is a bunch, Wilson? I guess like four or five, maybe. That's a bunch? I think it's a five bunch. Five is a bunch, right? Five is a bunch. What is it? Like one is one, two is a couple, three is a crowd? <laughs> I don't know. What about a Brady Bunch? Was that six? Yeah. Okay. So if you got a Brady Bunch of speakers, right? You got six of them. You can just party link these things together. You can have this straight up like, you know, surround sound system if you want to. Uh, super low latency. I did notice that about these. They do have super low latency. So yes, you can hook this up to like an LG TV or something like that. If you want to have some extra sound boost in your uh, TV watching, if you don't have a sound bar or anything. But overall, I think this is actually a good speaker. I, I'm actually... Uh, absolutely in love with the aesthetic here. Um, look, coffee table, Wilson. You getting this? This is a coffee table. And now I'm just, I'm just chilling on my coffee table, and I'm just gonna sit here. You know, let me get my lights right, cause I don't really like that light. I like this one. Yeah, that that comfy stuff right there. So I got my comfy light going. You know what I'm saying? And now I just wanna, you know, just chill, just vibe out, play some tunes. You know, just get on my epic demic sound, and just. Hey man, Wilson, I think it's time for you to take the rest of the day off. I'm just going to chill here with my speaker, get my jams on, listen to my, is this lo-fi? Is this lo-fi, right? I think so. I think it would is be that, Is that a lo-fi. genre of music, lo-fi? Yeah, lo-fi, yeah. Is this what that is? I think so. I never really gotten into it, but this, I can vibe with this like all day. Dude, I, I need some privacy. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, go. I've been that serious. 